Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be using Jasper.ai art once again. Yes, you can consider this an AI illustrator or if you want some illustrations for books or pretty much anything, this can certainly help you with this. If you haven't gotten to check out Jasper, I will leave a link in the description where not only can you get a free trial for the main Jasper software, but also there's the additional feature of the art if you want to check that out. Let's begin. So whenever you're going to be creating any type of art with this, the style for mo this most likely is going to be illustration. That's going to be right there for you. But however, in case you didn't see my previous video, I really like using the free form here. So this can pretty much just tell exactly what you want. And since we're going to be doing illustrations, that's something that we're going to want to be using pretty much throughout all of this. Now you have to keep in mind what you're going to be creating illustrations about, whether it's going to be a book, a magazine, it could be something for marketing, it could be illustrations can be for anywhere, right? But most specifically, let's just talk about penguins for this. So we have a penguin, we know we're going to be talking about penguins, what's this penguin going to be doing? Let's just say if it wasn't an illustrative book, it's going to be penguin in a cave. Okay, let's click on create and start there and see what we get. <laughs> there we go. So we have the penguin just sitting around that one's actually pretty good. I like that one. He looks doesn't look the happiest. This one looks like he's found either the entrance or the exit, a uh, different view. But these two I really like. Don't forget there is unlimited content. So we can just click on create again and see what we get for these four. Perfect. This one had a little bit more of a black and white aspect to that. I really like this one. This one is phenomenal. Like kind of like a hand sketch there, penguin with another one. But say we like that. That can give us some inspiration. So like a hand sketch and we can do um, great detail. Let's do one more like that with the penguin in the cave. There we go. Penguin in a cave, hand sketch. Looks great. I like the color aspect to it. That actually looks just even better, I would say. Great. Now, some of these penguins are going to be a little bit different, but overall, they look, you know, pretty similar. Like, obviously, this one, uh, I guess it's the side of the body, so it's hard to tell, but the eyes are definitely different with that. So that's something you will need to keep in mind if you're going to go with continuity. Maybe you could talk about multiple penguins, but since we have that, we could say penguin driving a car. It's an illustration book, right? So let's see what we have here. There we go. Slightly different when it comes to the illustrations. So is this one sticking its head out? Yeah, that's kind of funny. It looks like the uh, rear view mirror there. Let's just say in a car. We'll go with that and click on create. And keep in mind, there are going to be times we need to hit create a few times just to get specifically what you're looking for. And if you really want to match with continuity, like some of these are going to be a little bit more fine tuned in terms of the others. All right. So it's not coming up with too much when it comes to that. What we can also do is change it around. Like if we want to go the cartoon route just to see how it would look, let's go with that. Although I'll probably go back with illustration. There's also like a Dr. Seuss aspect if you want to go with that as well. Okay, so. Once again, very different. This is actually showing an illustration on a page. That's funny. And let's go with this Dr. Seuss. E-U-S-S. -S. Create. See what we get. Hey, we have more of the Dr. Seuss aspect that looks like something from a Dr. Seuss book. But I mean, just the ability to enter in something and then change it around. Let's go back to illustration here to keep it similar. Okay, and then we have Penguin. Let's do like one more. Walking in the street. And we can also do something like a sunny day. Calm, B E A. Beautiful illustration, hand sketch. So we got more going on here. Penguin walking in the street. And yeah, that'll do. Let's click on create. Okay, there we go. Penguin walking in the street. He's like, what's going on here? It's just him. A few people in the background, but I mean, that's what we're looking for here. This one has a little bit more of like a, I don't know if that's watercolor, but a slightly different um, look to it. I like this one the best, obviously. We have a sunny day. We could do penguin walking. Let's just do road, see if that changes it up. We'll do one last one. We'll do uh, calm. We don't need that. Beautiful. We got the sunny day going on and hand sketch. And that'll do. Create. There we go. This one. I like this one. It's just, it's plain. You can't really tell it's in a, it could be in a road or a street, but this one makes more sense. But the back of a penguin, it's kind of hard to tell what it is. And of course we got some there. So let me do one more since there was probably one there I liked. Let's just say penguin sleeping in bed, dreaming. Doesn't need to be a sunny day since it's inside. And we'll go with uh, illustration hand sketch. We don't need a hand sketch there and create. Okay. And there we have it. Penguin sleeping in bed. Pretty simple stuff. I don't know what's going on with this one. 
Looks like his flipper's coming out of the side or his beak. There's some crazy stuff going on there. Uh, this one, once again, hey, it is AI. Sometimes it comes up with stuff. But if you wanted something basic, I mean, that's going to be perfect, his little uh, penguin bed. Anyway, that's just like some examples when it comes to illustrations for books. There are many ways that you can use Jasper and art when it comes to a lot of different, I guess, areas, not only for just for marketing and internet marketing, but a lot of other things that I'll do some videos for to give you some even more examples. Anyway, I hope you got some value out of this. It's always fun seeing what Jasper Art is going to produce. If you would like to test them out, feel free to check out the link in the description below. And that's about it. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. I'm James. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.